Hi guys, Samantha here from Doing the Best I Can, and I am just um, opening up for another video I recorded a few days ago. This video was incredibly difficult for me to record, but I felt like it was necessary, so I'm just going to go on and get right into that. Hi guys, Samantha here today um, from Doing the Best I Can, and I am I'm hiding. I am hiding in my van and pumping because I've had a really bad morning um, and I'm actually having a pretty bad anxiety attack right now and um, yeah so um, I just wanted to come and, and uh, I wanted to make this video because I want to be real with you guys about my struggles and that there is so much more than just the anatomical struggles I'm going through right now um, I have very severe anxiety and depression and uh, sometimes it just comes out of nowhere and sometimes it's set off and today although there were there were reasons for having anxiety um, I know that this reaction is a little much but I can't really control it if um, if you don't understand the difference between having or being anxious and having anxiety um, so everybody is anxious from time to time um, imagine how you would feel if uh, maybe your baby needs some testing after birth and they don't know maybe something's wrong or how you'd feel when you're about to skydive or if your car breaks down in the middle of the nowhere and your phone's dead um, or if you have a really important test or a review at work or a deadline that you need to meet um, you might have anxiety in those moments but if you have a normal anxiety response you'll have the anxiety and when the problem is gone um, you'll be okay when you have an anxiety disorder um, when you have anxiety and you're not just anxious then it doesn't always get better just because the problem is resolved um, it lingers with you and it builds up and it gets worse and the problem doesn't have to be as extreme um, so yeah imagine how you feel how you would feel in all the situation I just named imagine how anxious you would be and then imagine feeling that way because you can't find the sugar at the store or because you've misplaced your keys or because you have to answer the door because somebody is knocking. Imagine that amount of anxiety over such a small thing and that is an anxiety disorder. Or worse, imagine just waking up feeling like that, just a sense of dread and nervousness and you have no idea why. Um, as I said today, there were actual reasons for my anxiety, but they weren't, they aren't that major. And that's the thing. I rationally, I know that they are not that big a deal, but my body I can't control how my hormones are releasing. I can't control the chemical imbalances. I can't control my fight or flight response. So I'm actually hiding from my family right now that loves me very much and I love them very much, but I had to get away. Um, so we'll start with why I was already on high alert. So I was already having a high anxiety day. My dad is in town and I love my dad very much and I enjoy being with him but when you have depression and anxiety it's almost like you're you have to put on an act sometimes to be around people just to function in society you're putting on an act you're putting on a production and it takes so much out of you already so yesterday I went to see my dad and my grandma and my stepmom and my aunts and my uncles on that side of the family were all there and my sisters were there and no it was great it was a great visit the no reason that I was upset there there was no confrontation 
There was no arguing, but just the act of performing like a normal human from 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. was exhausting. And I mean, there were a few moments of high anxiety then, like when my son was um, showing everybody this really awesome multi-tool he has that has an ax and saw attachment but then he left it out to where my two-year-old nephew could get it and I asked him several times to put it up sorry I'm just trying to make sure this is being efficient and he he wouldn't put it up well so those were uh, and I even told him and I'm very honest with him about what goes on with me I said Elliot you're giving me a lot of anxiety right now I need for you to put your tool up and take it to the car and just not get it out anymore. I said, I understand you're proud of it, but you are giving me so much anxiety right now. So he put it up and that was fine. But so I was already on high anxiety just from the act of performing. So I went to bed last night and I got up this morning already feeling, already feeling anxious, already feeling out of it. And then all these, what I'm about to tell you if you don't have anxiety or an anxiety disorder, it's going to seem so silly. But this was enough to send me into a full-fledged panic attack. So I get up. I have to find my son's, my, my baby's um, swim clothes because we're going to be swimming today. It's Memorial Day weekend and my family gets together. Um, and... So I'm looking for his swim clothes and he's never worn them. So I'm not sure what I did with them when I got them like nine months ago. So I finally find that and then we have to go get something out of storage and I can't find my keys to storage while we're there. And, um, so that's already, that, that's already killing my anxiety. Then I realized that I can't find my wallet and I'm looking everywhere. I tear up my car. I tear up the apartment. I go up to the last store I used it at. It's not there. And um, I ask my son to help me and he's like looking how kids look, which means he wasn't looking. He was just kind of standing there staring. And I'm like, dude, this is important. If you don't help me, we are not able to go to our family thing today. And um, we won't be able to do anything because if I don't have my wallet, we won't have enough gas to get there. We won't have enough gas to get home. We can't get the things that we're supposed to bring. Um, finally, uh, my sister messages me and apparently at some point my nephew had pulled a bunch of the things out of my um, diaper bag uh, and he brought me my phone and he brought me the baby's socks and he brought me the baby's bottle. But apparently he had also gotten out my wallet at that point and um, I picked everything up when I left last night but apparently I did not pick up my wallet so it was safe and a normal person once they found out that their wallet was safe would be fine they'd be like well that's a relief I can go about my day it didn't matter that my wallet was safe at that point I was already having high anxiety I was frustrated with Elliot for I mean just doing kid things he wasn't helping he wasn't looking he wasn't being efficient and then I was questioning whether he threw my wallet away because I had him clean out the van this morning um, I was just so stressed out um, and then the baby was crying and then I had to drive 30 minutes on a empty gas tank because my dad did have my wallet but it wasn't with me and I had to hope that I could get there to get it because I have no had no money on me no cash no nothing and so uh, when we got here I passed the baby off to my grandma which is nice to do because I have no help and no support and it's just me and the baby 24 7 I mean Elliot is helpful he's very helpful he makes bottles and um so yeah, when I just, I wasn't ready. I went in there and my stepmom, who is awesome, was, you know, um, asking me what was going on. I was real with her. I told her I was sorry. I, I didn't even realize I was closing my eyes. Um, 
I told her I was having anxiety and we kind of talked about it for a second, but, and she was understanding, but the questions were already starting just, you know, how do you sleep and all that. And my family's not doing anything wrong, but I, I starting to freak out and I need it to come D. Um, detox that's not the right word uh, unwind in my car so I thought I would take a moment while I'm pumping to um, to just talk to you guys about it about to be real about my struggles because stress is not good for your milk supply and um, when you have depression and anxiety stress is just a part of your life So, yeah, that I, I'm hiding, and um, I'm just gonna sit out here and pump, and I have some chips and dip I'm gonna eat, and then hopefully when I'm done pumping, I will have calmed down enough that I can go be who my family deserves me to be. They don't deserve the grumpy, bitchy attitude that I would be bringing because of my high anxiety. Uh, my son deserves my patience, both of my sons, they deserve my patience, and I shouldn't be short with them. So I'm just taking a few minutes um, and hiding and pumping. Happy Memorial Day. Um, if you have lost anybody in your family that served in the military, I'm very sorry to hear that. Honor them however you choose to honor them. Um, I definitely don't want to take away from what this weekend is about. It's not about the barbecues and the swimming. It's about the people who have given their life, whether in service or were in service, and have passed on. And um, So, yeah, just honor your family today. Enjoy however you choose to celebrate. Um, I've got a wiffle ball tournament, hopefully, if the rain holds off, that we're going to participate in today with my family. It's the third annual. Laura Clark Memorial Memorial Day with football tournament um, in honor of my aunt who passed away three years ago uh, last week. I was having a pretty rough weekend, but I did get through it and had an amazing time with my family. Um, I just want to mention that everybody has anxiety attacks differently. They don't always manifest the same way. Some people are completely incapable of functioning. Some people are high functioning during it. They are just struggling internally or they need they are just acting weird as you noticed I was having trouble making eye contact I was having trouble with concentration um, and what you couldn't see was I had so much pressure and tension in my neck and my chest and I was having trouble breathing and my heart rate was elevated and those are all um, how my anxiety manifests now there are several types of, di of anxiety the three main types are general anxiety disorder, which is just an overall anxiousness that comes at inopportune times. There is a social anxiety disorder, which is triggered from social um, instances where you have to be social or be around people, and you can dread that for weeks, months, and hours in advance. And then there is, um, oh, I forgot what the third type is. I'll. I'll put it at the bottom whenever I remember. Um, so yeah, those are the three main types of social anx of anxiety disorders. Um, and so let's talk real quick about the fight or flight response. Uh, I don't want to go too much into it, but now that I'm more in my right mind, because I'm not having anxiety today, um, actually I'm having a really great mental day. Um, so the normal, there's not a lot of research onto why we have anxiety uh, disorders. But we do know what anxiety is. Anxiety is a fear response and it is meant to keep us safe and it is from, it has stayed with us through lots of evolutionary changes based on when we used to have to, you know, survive out in the elements with big, bad, you know, animals that could kill us and diseases that could kill us and things like that. So it is a fight or flight response uh, disorder basically and how fight or flight works is you have a trigger or a stimulus or a anxiety causing moment then your brain uh, produces or uh, yeah produces signals in your amygdala and it um, then it goes to your hypothalamus so then your pituitary gland which is in the back of your head um, it uh, it secretes a hormone, a really long named hormone, um, and that hormone releases 
cortisol and adrenaline. We all know what adrenaline is. Um, and what that causes is a heart rate increase, bladder relaxation, tunnel vision, shaking, dilated pupils, flushed face, dry mouth, slowed digestion, and hearing loss. So you kind of get... So you kind of get absorbed into your own world and it, you have trouble focusing and interacting with the world around you. Um, uh, and it gives you very focus, like you focus on your, your fear and your attention and you don't, you're unable to focus on other things around you. And that is, um, with the disorder that all of that is what normally happens. That happens to everybody, regardless of whether they have a disorder or whether they have normal fight or flight responses. Um, but if you have a disorder that, that continues to stay with you and it's hard to get away from it. And sometimes it happens over like your stimulus is not always going to be that big of a deal to most people. And it just feels like a big deal to you because you have something wrong in your brain. Um, and, so there needs to be more research done on this, but at the moment it is not, um, for all the things that we can research, we need to put more research into mental health disorders. And, um, so yeah, that's how, that was kind of what was going on with me. And as I said, everybody has anxiety and everybody has stress, but not everybody has or understands anxiety disorders. And everybody manifests their anxiety differently. Maybe you will never know that somebody's having a complete panic attack and they are perfectly functioning. Um, but internally they are freaking out. Um, so yeah, it's been two days since that anxiety attack and I'm doing much better. And my family visit was great and I'm so glad that I got to see my dad and spend time with him. And the rest of the day went great. Um, so yeah, that was a very difficult video to make. But I felt like it needed to be done for transparency reasons to just, you know, keep an open and honest relationship with you guys. Um, I am all currently pumping electrically. Um, I was pumping manually in that last video. Um, but I've got to go. I've got to go to Scouts tonight. It's our end of the year party. Um, have a wonderful day, guys. Thank you so much for um watching today like comment share subscribe you can find me on facebook and instagram under the same name doing the best i can bye till next time